The Predators, also known as the Yaucha, were the primary characters in the Predator franchise, and they had a number of powerful tools and equipment to aid them. They were famously known as a technologically advanced species of aliens, and one of their most exciting creations was their cloaking device. This cloaking device was essentially an invisibility cloak that made the wearer almost undetectable, and there were also several different types of cloaking devices. Today, we will explore the inner workings of this advanced piece of technology and tell you all about the Predator's cloaking device. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel this is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. What is the cloaking device, and how did it work for the Predator across the franchise? The cloaking device was essentially a piece of technology that enabled the Predators to turn invisible, and it is also known as the Invisibility System, Chameleon Field, or the Shift Suit. It warped the light around the user in a way that anyone looking directly at them would see right through them at any object behind the user. The cloak was quite effective in fooling most creatures, but it did have its own limitations, and there were certain ways to detect its presence. The Yaucha typically used the cloak while hunting for xenomorphs, who were still able to sense their presence through other senses. Still, the cloaking device was of great use during a hunt, as the Yauchas were stealthy creatures who often sneaked up on their victims. The cloak had appeared in almost every single Predator movie, and it first appeared in the 1987 Predator movie when Jungle Hunter used the cloak. In this movie, the cloak could still be spotted as it created distortions or heat waves in the air surrounding it. Mac once even spotted a predator who was using a cloak by concentrating on the predator's bright eyes that flashed a yellow light before disappearing again. Later in the movie, a predator chased Dutch across a waterfall and turned visible when the cloak came in contact with water. In Predator 2, a city hunter used the cloak throughout the movie, but Harrigan spotted the creature on multiple occasions by noticing the distortions around the cloak. Moreover, the predator turned visible when it stepped into a puddle while wearing the cloak. Later on, Keys used radioactive dust to disable the predator's cloak, and the predator later had trouble staying invisible when it tried to use its weapons that could be seen through the cloak. In the 2004 film titled Alien vs. Predator, three predators used this cloaking device, but their weapons were also visible through the cloak, and these cloaks were later disabled when they were attacked with bullets. Later on, Chopper wore the cloak and sneaked up on Lex, but the grid alien showed up and impaled Chopper through his cloak. This showed that the cloak did not work effectively against xenomorphs, who could easily sense the presence of Yauchas even though they were invisible. The cloaking device was later seen in Aliens vs. Predator Requiem in 2007, wherein one could easily see the disruptions caused due to the cloak. In the 2010 release titled Predators, a new version of the cloaking device was used by the Super Predators. This version could not be damaged as easily as the original cloak, and it also had a shimmering effect whenever a Super Predator decloaked in order to turn visible again. Later on, this cloaking device was used by Fugitive Predators and Upgrade Predators in the 2018 Predator film, and it also made an appearance in the 2022 release titled Prey. Exploring the various types of Predator cloaking devices. There were several different types of cloaking devices in the Predator franchise, and they were used by Yaucha for different reasons. Some of these types included the Super Predator Cloak, Feral Predator Cloak, and the Predator Cloak used by humans. Let us have a look at each of these types in detail, beginning with the Super Predator Cloak. Super Predator Cloak. Super Predators, also known as Berserker Yaucha, were a subspecies of this alien race and they were enhanced beings known for their aggressive nature and strength. They used an upgraded version of the cloaking device as it made the wearer completely invisible. Besides making the super predators invisible, this cloaking device could withstand any damage or attacks targeted in its direction. When someone shot in the general direction of a super predator, this cloak flickered slightly and created a tiny distortion in the cloaking field of that area. These distortions could also be caught by the audiences when the super predators wore or removed their cloak. This cloak appeared in the first two Predator movies, and viewers can most certainly catch the Super Predators wearing this cloak if they pay attention. Moreover, one could hear a particular sound every time one of these creatures wore or removed the cloak. 
Feral Predator Cloak. The Feral Predator Cloak was actually the very first cloaking device introduced on screen in the Predator movies, and it was quite a sophisticated piece of technology. In fact, some of its features are still better than the later upgraded versions of the cloak. For instance, the Feral Predator Cloak could be used in water, and one Yaucha had even worn this cloak during a face-off with a huge bear in a river body. This cloak also made the user completely invisible, but it had its own disadvantages. The Feral Predator Cloak only helped the user become invisible, and their weapons would still be visible through the cloak if they tried to use them. This cloak was also not fireproof or bulletproof, and it suffered some damage when exposed to either of these conditions. Human's Predator Cloak Across the entire film series, human beings have often tried to replicate the Yaucha technology, or even steal them, and they considered the cloaking device a valuable asset. Weyland Yutani put in a lot of effort to study this device, and then try to replicate the Predator technology of the cloak. They finally managed to create combat synthetics that could replicate the same features of the cloak. Some humans had gotten their hands on the Predator's cloaking device, but most of them either joined hands with the alien species or used their technology to achieve the same effects. In one instance, Ronald Nolan stole a Predator cloak and then used it to ambush some game preserve outcasts, while some other human Predators also made use of Predator gear to fight their opponents. What is the science behind the Predator's cloaking device? The cloaking device essentially worked on the principle that it would enable any viewer to see right through the cloak and directly spot the object behind it. The Yaucha used advanced technology that bent the light around the cloak's user. In this way, the light would not react to the cloak's silhouette or the wearer, and it would essentially help them become undetectable. Of course, one needed to perfect the correct way to bend light around an object, or one could end up getting an inaccurate result. In this case, the user would still be invisible, but there would be some evidence of their presence visible to the naked eye. In order to avoid such situations, the predators preferred to stay in forests as a natural environment helped the Yaucha to cover up any imperfections. In some instances, such as the presence of fire, the cloaking device's technology slowed down, and it was easier to spot the cloaking device or its user. Does the Predator ship also have a cloaking system? When the Yaucha created the cloaking devices for themselves, they also explored the possibility of creating the same for their ships. They succeeded in this task and then fitted cloaking devices on most of the Predator ships. These cloaks were much bigger than the cloaking devices made for individual Yauchas, as it was important to ensure that their ships were not visible to any opponents. Their ships were fitted with powerful reactors that acted as a power source for their plasma weapons, and they needed to keep them safe in order to ambush their victims and put up a good fight against any enemies. Sometimes, predators put in extra effort to hide their ships in swamps or lakes so that they wouldn't be discovered by humans or other species, but these cloaking devices also served as a great option to hide them. The Predator Mothership was known for having a huge cloaking system, as this ship could camouflage an entire Predator clan and also hide several smaller ships that were on board the Mothership. Can the Predator's cloaking device work in water? It appears that the Predator's cloaking device cannot work in water, and it can even malfunction when it comes in contact with rain, lakes, or even other shallow bodies of water. In the 1987 Predator movie, the cloaking device short-circuited when a Predator walked through the water, but the same device appeared to be working smoothly during a later encounter. This suggests that the water could temporarily affect the cloaking of the device, leading to a short circuit that undoes the invisibility effect. However, the cloaking cloaking field could be restored immediately once the predator was out of the water and the cloaking device then returned to its regular functioning. What are some of the shortcomings of the predator cloaking device? While the Predator cloaking device is an extremely useful tool, it does have some shortcomings that make things difficult for the Yaucha from time to time. For instance, we just saw how some versions of the cloak can short circuit in water. Besides this, the cloak is also not invulnerable to damages done by electromagnetic interference, and it also needs a considerable amount of power in order to keep working. The cloaking device's generator drains quickly, and it needs to be recharged from time to time for 
for the cloak to keep working. The cloaking device also does not make this wearer completely invisible, and it can be detected with the use of equipment such as special goggles or motion sensors. Even when the cloaking device helps someone move around undetected, viewers could see a man-shaped bubble or a distortion in the air surrounding them. As mentioned before, the Yaucha typically hunted in forests or areas where these distortions may not be very evident, so this didn't pose as a big problem for them. However, their enemies could use this information to their advantage and look out for distortions in the cloaking field in order to incapacitate the Yauchas. Some of the versions of the cloak could easily be destroyed by fire or bullets, and this was seen when the cloaks given to Scar, Celtic, and Chopper on a xenomorph hunt were destroyed when they came in contact with some bullets. Some of the weapons preferred by the Yauchas, such as their wrist blades or scimitars, were also not invisible under the cloak, so their opponent could spot these weapons in thin air and easily locate the predators hiding under the cloaking device. Conclusion To sum it up, the Predator's cloaking device was undoubtedly an amazing piece of technology, and it certainly caught attention of the fans. It proved to be of tremendous help to the Predators, and it is a powerful weapon that has played a huge role in many of their victories. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks everyone.